Cyber Dogs, this is Rent Dog coming at you from my brand new storeroom in the Lakeside Villa in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival Series. And in the previous episode, we were getting busy dying and being a noob. And uh, <laughs> in this episode, we are going to go back to the ravine that we found underneath the Lakeside Villa. But um, I came back up to put the stuff down that I had found, guys, because I got a bit, you know, nervous about dying again. And don't worry, guys, I picked up the saddle and I picked up the cocoa beans. Man, you guys went cray-cray when I dropped this saddle. And I now realize that it is a rare drop, only found in dungeons. So I'm definitely going to be hanging on to the, the saddle, man. And I didn't even realize it when I threw it away, man. I'm such a butt bandit. Um, but I've picked it back up again, guys, and now I have got it in my freaking storage room, man. And as you can see, I've just been doing a little bit of construction work. I got a bit distracted when I got back up here. And as you can see, I've done a little bit, of, a little bit more work. Let me show you guys exactly what I've done. I've sort of sorted out um, this area up in here. There's, um, I've also sort of worked on this room which is going to be my bedroom you can see i've put up the walls so it's looking pretty sweet that's going to be my bedroom man it's going to be awesome oh and i thought what we would do in this episode just before i head back into the ravine let us try and grow the freaking tree um where are those freaking jungle saplings i know i had jungle saplings up in this business somewhere there's the bone meal so guys what i what i realized right is that i'm going to let the tree make the um the roof of the lakeside villa so hopefully the leaves will stop the snow falling and will actually stop so their jungle saplings there are three jungle saplings there um will actually stop the snow falling and freezing my pool so i'm going to use the leaves of the freaking tree um man that is going to be freaking sweet but guys oh oh my goodness gracious we need another jungle sapling oh, <laughs> how lucky was that first freaking leaf broken we get a jungle sapling that is how i roll up in this business peeps right so let us see if we can actually make this work um man i, I wonder if this is going to interfere with it but let's give it a go this is now hang on oh man oak sapling oak sapling fail um let's go back see if we can get a jungle sapling wrong leaves they're the correct leaves so <laughs> so anyway guys man last episode was was pretty ridiculous man i dying losing all my xp that sucked a lot but um i have to say it turned out pretty good in the end because i managed to find a freaking dungeon and a spider spawner and a giant ravine which is awesome and one of you cyber dogs pointed out that um i shouldn't be complaining about the spider spawner that i found because it actually makes something useful whereas a zombie spawner all it does is make zombies that just drop rotten meat and obviously rotten meat is just pointless whereas silk from spiders is actually a valuable commodity because i can turn it into wool so um, i'm actually so freaking excited about that oh, another an another oak sapling what the what the freak um well let's just see if it works anyway if it's majority jungle saplings surely it should work if it's majority jungle saplings but um we will see now so three jungle saplings and an oak sapling and the bone meal let's just step away from the tree and see what gets cracking up in here so let's go over here and let's see if we can make this work man um right bone meal kablam kablam kablooey kablam kablam kablooey damn it <laughs> okay there we go um, so I didn't make a giant one, but it made a fairly giant one. Well, that one actually, that one actually sucks a lot. <laughs> but that's cool. Um, I don't know why that didn't work, man. That is, it's, it's annoying. I don't understand why, how this actually works. Okay, so there's another one. Um, so anyway, let's have a look at what that looks like. So as you can see, guys, I want it to be higher, actually. And then I'm going to use the, um the leaves i want the leaves to sort of be up here and then that'll be the roof of the villa don't you think that is a sweet idea guys let me know in the comment section below what you think about that ow um let's see if we can make this one grow grow sprout sprout you bastard grow okay well he clearly doesn't want to grow um <laughs> so anyway let's go drop off this bone meal and let's head back into the ravine man Oh, I am so freaking excited about this episode. I've been uh, I, I've been waiting all freaking day to play this episode. And I cannot wait to get going. Um, who knows what we are going to find down there in the depths of hell. And what I was thinking about is that 
possibly let's just pick up some water there possibly this ravine could connect up to the huge ravine that we found on the second continent uh, way back in the beginning of the series I mean, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, that means you haven't watched the series from the beginning, and I am now freaking officially angry with you. Yes. And man, it's, I'm, I'm not going to be forgiving you anytime soon. Seriously. Um, go watch the freaking the whole series if you haven't watched it all the way up until now. Freaking butt bandits. Um, anyway, let's head back down to the giant ravine. Now, I'm, one, I'm already hoping that this ravine connects with the ravine from the second continent. How amazing would that be? Because then we could, we could actually build a sub- Terranean railway system all through the ravines. Whoa, that was some weird glitching going on over there. Um, but look at this, man. Look at what we got going up in here. Wow, so many resources, um, so much loot to get. But we just need to watch our backs because they're going to be creepers galore up in here, wanting to blow up our asses. And uh, man, this is just, you know, this is now almost. Uh, ep Whoa. This is now almost episode 100. Where the heck did you come from, man? And it's it's almost like we've come full circle. You know what I mean? We, we started this series exploring giant ravines. And it looks like, as this is what, episode 98? Whoa! Man, they're falling from the sky! <laughs> Damn! It looks like we're going to finish this series um, in a giant ravine, which is just... I think it's it's apt, man. I think it is an apt ending to an insane journey that we've been on. And um, wow, to think that we, we started in the side of a mountain um, in some random jungle that we found after almost being killed by a spider right out the bat. <laughs> um, and now all, here we are, man. We found a, a giant ravine under a lakeside villa that we decided to build for no other reason other than to make something sweet. And um, man, it has been epic. And who knows what we're going to find in this ravine. But um, let us eat because life is not looking too good at the moment. Um, and man, I'm learning to use the mouse wheel having, after having played with my brother Goxy on our Let's Play uh, Take It series. And I'm just getting better and better at this game, holding shift when I'm standing on cliffs. Um, well, I say that and I died <laughs> in the last episode in the most noobish way. So maybe I'm not getting better at this game, but it feels like I'm getting better at this game. Um, and hopefully in season two, you know, things will get better. Um, and we will die less, but who knows? So how many times have we died in this series in total? I think something like, uh, I'm thinking about the graveyard, six times in total? I think there's a death that we haven't got in the graveyard yet um, when I burnt in lava like a noob. So I think that's probably another death that we need to get in there. Um, but I think in total, six or seven times in 100 episodes is pretty good, it's pretty good. I'm not going to complain about that death rate. That's like, what, um, one death every 10 or no, every 12 episode, episodes or so. So that's not too bad. That is not too shabby. All right, so. Ah. Oh, damn it. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we've got the lava killing skills. Oh, yeah. Take that, you lava. Right, so we are looking for diamonds. That is what we're looking for right now. Um, happy to pick up some iron. Um, although we did come back with a ridiculous amount of iron from our last adventure. But we're just going to carry on up this ravine. Back up. Back up. Man, hit him with dirt. Got angry. Exploded. No reason to, to explode, man. Come on. Try and calm yourself. You need anger management. Whoa, holy lord. I mean, this this ravine could rival the first giant ravine that we found. I mean, are you guys seeing this? Whoa. Where did that come from? I mean, this is absolutely absurd. Oh my goodness gracious. Now, where are we being shot from? I think we're being sh probably shot from the bottom. This is absolutely absurd, man. Look at the size of this ravine. Do you know what would be sweet in Minecraft if you had flare? Ow! Holy Lord. Now things are getting frightening. Um, 
I just got shot off. I have no idea how I didn't die. Um, but I'm pretty... Hey, a slime ball! Where did I pick that up from? <laughs> but I'm, I'm not sure how I survived that, but... Um, I definitely didn't deserve to survive that. Ah! For Sparta! Die! Whew, man, I cannot believe I just survived that fall. Um, and I've just been talking about being less of a noob. And I wasn't holding shift. Although I think um, not holding shift doesn't negate the uh, an arrow pushing you off. I think an arrow still gets you. Um, well, that seems to have to be what ha what has happened. Um, oh my goodness gracious! So we need to we need to get back up there somehow, um, just so that we know where the freak how the freak to get home. So let's let's build our ladders. That's why we brought him. That is why we brought him. Maybe we can find that butt bandit that shot us off the cliff also. And uh, it is time for some revenge. I can shoot arrows too, you know. You bastard. Okay, so this is where we came from. Excellent. Um, right, let's just make some sort of a marker up here. Oops. Man, I can't believe I survived that fall, but I'm sure my, uh, man, my diamond armor must be taking a blow. We're basically going to go into Season 2 having to find a whole new set of armor and a whole new set of diamonds, I think. I think that, that's basically what's going to happen. We've squandered all of the freaking riches that we found in Season 1 on, on, on noobness, basically. Um. <laughs> but it was worth it. It was worth it. All right. Let's get some torches up in here. Okay, so now we know that this is where, this is how we get home. Um, but I want to head around this way. I just want to, because what I found in the other ravine is that there are these little caverns like this. And you never know what's in them. Um, and what what I've found in the, in, wow, there's two of them here. What i found in the past is that there's, there's, usually, there's usually some slimes. Ah! Battle of the cavern! Damn! Um, but sometimes there can be some there can be slimes, right? And we've I think we've used quite a lot of our slime to make um, sticky pistons already, and we need some more slime. And especially if we're going to start um, brewing and doing stuff like that. And as you can see, that you know there's some coal up in here, which is sweet. So get in my freaking belly coal. There we go. Mm. Nice. So guys, some of you guys were saying um, while I just check out and see nothing left here while we just explore some of you guys were saying well why didn't you finish off the villa and i was thinking about it and i was wonder i was trying to figure out why didn't i just carry on building the villa there is some gold that i want um, but we need to try and get there smartly and what i realized is that um it's actually a really good idea especially when you're doing creative stuff to step back from the work that you're doing sometimes and to take a small break from the work that you're doing and then to come back so not so you don't look at it at all man you, you leave it for a while and you come back later and um, basically what this does is it lets you come back with a fresh eye and that is exactly what I think we should be doing with the Lakeside Villa because I've been building for so long now that I think that ow dude fall to your death that is what you get when you interrupt me um, but we, we've, been, we've been building the Lakeside Villa for so long now that I fear that um, I might start getting like lazy and I, and I might start taking shortcuts and stuff to, to try and finish it off um, as quick as possible. And I definitely don't want that to happen because it's by far my proudest craft to date. I just love how it's turned out, man. It's just looking so good. And um, I don't want to jeopardize that. So I thought, t you know, taking a break, going on a bit of an adventure, um, you know, I think it's it's always good, right? And it reminds me of this time when I when I moved cities once, when I was much younger. I was probably like nine or so, and we moved cities. So we moved from we moved across the country, basically. We moved like six or seven hundred kilometers um, away from the city that I was born in, all the way to a new city. Oh my goodness gracious! I almost fell again. Um, anyway. <laughs> what was I saying? And yeah, so so all of my toys and stuff got packed away, right, for the move. And it was like the most devastating thing ever. My Lego, my Meccano. I had this this toy called Capsella, which was amazing. 
and all of this got whoa all of this got packed away and uh let me tell you man it was depressing for a, for a nine-year-old to have all your toys packed away it's just like the it's the worst thing ever um what a Vader time that's what a Vader music by the way oh yeah oh yeah take it to the knee um anyway so <laughs> so yes yeah, so my my toys got packed away man and i didn't swallow i didn't see them for a very very long time um because my mum wanted to pack up the house and so she packed up the house and then we only moved like two or three weeks later I smell diamonds I sm are you looking hol holding the diamonds are you holding the diamonds um so yes yeah, so all my toys were gone man and when we got to the new s the new city that we moved to the first thing that I did was open up my toys and put them in my room and let me tell you it was one of the most if, oh my goodness, look at this. One of the most um, epic moments of my life that I'll never forget. I remember like opening up my Lego and my Meccano and just, it was like, it was like seeing a long lost relative. I was just like, oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for, for reuniting me with my love. And um, that is exactly how I feel about the Lakeside Villa. <laughs> in, in a roundabout way, all the way back to what I was saying. Um, I want to, I want to, not look at the lakeside villa for a while and see you know we'll come back to her and uh all of the passion will be back and we'll be able to make the sweetest lakeside villa ever man that is the first lapis that we have gathered in a long freaking time right so this this looks like uh, the ravine looks like it's wow i mean this is just this is just immense this ravine is just huge and this is why I'm thinking that maybe this ravine is going to connect up with the other ravine. Creep it. You think I didn't see you, but I saw you, sad ass. But bandit. This is why I really... Th oh, there's a diamond. There's a diamond. Oh, my goodness. We found diamonds. Sweet. Man, I knew this, this, this adventure was going to be rewarding. Um, and unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do any Dogolith entries this episode. But... Instead, we found diamonds, which is equally rewarding, and I'm hoping we can get to level 30 or so by the end of this adventure. That would be sweet. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, I hope you, I hope you guys are with me with what I was saying. Um, it's good to, in summary, ow. In summary, it's good to give things a break. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> in a roundabout way. Um, sweet guys. This is epic. I'm just, I know the diamonds are there. I'm going to go get them now, but I, I just don't want to miss um, the irons on the way. Sweet. And um, yeah, it looks like we are coming to the end of this episode, but I am going to pick up these diamonds before the episode ends. I'm also going to hack into this creeper's brain. Or attempt to anyway. Whoa. Dudes, how epic is this ravine? I mean, this ravine is just... This is a, in, an insane ravine. I see you, you green bastard. I see your hand, and I raise you an arrow to the face. And you, burning lava, you bastard. Look at him, he's going for the diamonds. You cannot have the diamonds, they are mine. All of the diamonds are mine. Sweet. Oh, hello, diamonds. Oh, it looks like a little patch. Sweet. Let's just make sure there's no lava over here. Sweet. So that was like four diamonds. I think there's one more there. Yep. Mm. Damn. Sweet. Okay. So anyway, guys. Um, wow. This ravine is just huge. I think there's some gold here also. We haven't actually found gold in a long time either. So that's good. We need some more gold. I'm definitely going to be using gold to build a monument at some point. A monument for, for Granny Dog. Um, that's going to be coming up in Season 2, you guys. It's going to be a monument made out of gold. All of the gold that I've found to date in the series, I'm going to make a sweet-ass monument for Granny Dog. It is going to be sweet. You guys know what I'm talking about, man. You guys who have been with me from the beginning, you know. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so level 16. This has been good. It's been good, Creeper. 
<laughs> He's like, damn it, I'm so angry. I'm gonna explode. Um, right, guys. So anyway, um, I d we're completely lost now. 100% lost. Oh, is, is that actually our... Ah. We have come full circle. There's our ladder. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, listen here, man. I have to end this episode here because we run out of hard drive space. But in no time at all, we will be back for episode 99. One episode to episode 100. My sabba doggy dogs. Give me a high five. Oh, and I'm sorry that I, that I always use tools when I give you guys high five. So let's have a proper high five, man. No tools. Not going to break anything. Give me a sabba dog high five. <laughs> Whoa, that was ninja. Anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next episode. This has been Rendog playing Minecraft Survival. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Etc. Etc. Hoopla. We'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, guys.